Okay, team, read the question. This is connected to advanced phonemic awareness involving phoneme manipulation. This is a great one from that Foundations of Reading test. I will give you one minute. Take a moment now, read this question, and we'll talk about it, okay? Go ahead, take a moment, read it. Go. Unread. All right, now, this is uh, similar to a question that we had when we first started phonological awareness. It starts off very similar. It says, which of the following tasks requires the most advanced levels skill uh, along the phonological awareness continuum? So basically it's saying, what's the hardest task uh, in these activities involving ph phonological awareness? I'm going to circle that word phonological awareness or, and, and write down that phonological awareness continuum that we've done so many times, right? I'm hoping this is so second nature and that this is helping the repetition. I hope it's not annoying, but it's supposed to be helping because this stuff can be confusing. But we think about this, con uh, this continuum as having four levels. Write out those levels on a sheet of paper. You know them. We said them a lot. Word, syllable, onset rhyme, and phoneme level. And we know that we're looking for the most advanced skill. So we already know that it's going to be that top one, right? We already know that the activity that we're looking for is going to be a top that top activity. Now, these are all activities in, involving sound. This last one, and you notice it's sound. Let me circle the words and, that tell you it's a sound thing, like uh, listening, uh, uh, listening, orally segmenting, orally segmenting. This tells you that A, B, C, and D are sound activities, right? Uh, uh, so, so we definitely have sound activities. Now, what about this one? Listening to the word fiddle and fresh and determining that they both words begin with the, the phoneme F. What's that? That is an example of where you're telling that a word words are similar by their initial sound, their initial phoneme. That is alliteration, right? So I want you to say D, write this down. D is basic phonological awareness, alliteration, word level activity, right? How about this one right here? Uh, they, uh, they listen to the word place and pluck and then orally segment the word into its onset and rhyme. All right, so they're like pl pl ace. That is sort of uh, onset and rhyme activity, right? That's sort of that, that third level. Okay, how about this one right here? They orally segment the word wonderful into wonderful, into its syllables. Hey, that's the syllable level. All right, so then what are we left with? They orally segment the, the phonemes in the word chimp and then substitute uh, O for I to make the new word chomp. Uh, now here we have substituting and maybe you saw that. You know what? May this is the answer, by the way. Maybe, remember we did this before in a previous question, because I know a lot of you are saying, I've seen this before. Now, let me clear this off. Oh, no, I don't want to totally clear it off. Remember how we were like the one earlier where we erased it? Right? So that we were just, uh, we were just uh, looking at some of those key phrases. So, uh, so let's see here. If we just look at it like this, we're looking for an advanced phonological awareness activity, phonemic awareness. This one has that phrase substituting sounds. And we know substitution, right? Automatically in our heads, substitution is the top of the list for phonemic awareness. So right away, it doesn't matter what is around. If you see substituting this sound for that sound, that's advanced phonological awareness. That's the answer, right? This one involves syllables in a word. That's that's not the most advanced. That's, that's this level here. This one involves listening and identifying the first sound. Uh, that's this one right here. This one, it doesn't really matter what the, what the words are. It's onset and rhyme. That's that one right there. So we got to train ourselves, train ourselves to spot these key words. It will help us get our, the answers faster. Or this is like, this is our friend, right? If we're asked, um, what, is it, what is an example of advanced? Uh, you need to know what advanced phonemic awareness is so that when you spot your friend, 
Oh, I know you. Yeah, 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 I know you. You're my good friend, advanced phonemic awareness. You're able to get that answer really fast, okay? Now, team, I, I don't know if I gave you a word count on this, but, you know, if we said one minute, I think, you know, I think at, at a certain point in time, maybe you're doing them in two minutes, but at a certain point in time, you want to practice these so that really you can start to apply these strategies. Because honestly, if you know your friend and you're like, oh, I'm looking for my friend at uh, the most advanced phonemic awareness skill, then your mind should be looking for this. And so really, this really technically really isn't a one minute question. Technically, on the day of the test, this is really a 15-second question. If you know your friend, right? I mean, let's be honest. When you walk into a, a coffee shop and you're looking for your friend, if you really know your friend and what they look like, you should be able to spot them right away. You shouldn't be able. You shouldn't need two minutes to look. <laughs> Are you my friend? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen you in a long time. If you've been studying this stuff, you should be like, bam, there you are. Okay, I hope you're enjoying this team. Uh, practice this one. This is a good one. This one is from uh, this test here. And uh, everyone should take a look at it. And we got lots and lots and lots of practice with all this vocab. Phonological awareness, phonemic awareness, phoneme segmentation, segmenting syllables, onset rhyme, alliteration. A lot of those, those ideas are in the question, so you get to review them, okay? All right. Let's keep going uh, to our next our next one, okay? Involving sort of advanced, this is an advanced phonemic awareness question. So let's let's do the next one. 